years ago or 460 years ago? Here's the business. Number one is the company itself. You gotta have a solid foundation to build on, right? Well, look at the company that you have. I just mentioned the executives and what they've done and the growth that you're experiencing. And you folks in this room that are coming on brand new, what a, what a phenomenal time for you to be coming on the board with the growth that's going on every single month that's growing. You're, you're, you're in momentum, you're, what a great time. I mean, you are, have you ever heard somebody say, in order to be successful, you need to be at the right place at the right time? Mm -hmm. Guess what? This is it. <laughs> you are it. So you've got a solid foundation. The second thing it takes is a great product. A product that uh, helps change people's lives. Does your product help change people's lives? Yes. Yes. I mean, uh, one, because of the helping them to lose weight, but by doing that, by losing the weight, also you're helping them with a lot of other issues that they may have, but also all of the great nutritional supplements that you have in your business. Folks, I have believed in nutritional supplementation since 1975. Hello? <laughs> That's a long time. Back in those days, no one did. I first learned about nutrition when I was living in Canada, actually. 1975, and I started to believe in it. And the reason I did was because I read a little book, it was called Know Your Nutrition by Linda Clark. And it convinced me that in today's world, it's impossible to get everything that our bodies need to survive well. Not just to get by, but to survive well, right? And, get, and, and feel good for the rest of your life. You know, my goal is, um, I, I, I hope to live to be 120, but I know this, where it, however long I do live, I wanna make sure that all of those years are healthy years, right? That's key to me. I wanna feel great all the time. I get people all the time saying, Rudy, you're 70 years old. You're on planes all the time. You're going here, you're going there. I still drive race cars, by the way. I still have a, I uh, love my Harley and going on Harley rides. I, I still fly an airplane myself. I still, I still do everything I did when I was 35 years old. And my friends, they're, oh, how can you do that? I am all <laughs> But when I tell them about supplementation, oh no, I don't need that stuff, right? So I've been doing this for 40 some years, I've been taking this stuff. And he's still laughing at me. Well, they don't laugh today. <laughs> you understand? Nutritional supplements. In today's world, the way we grow and process and store and freeze dry and cook and all the horrible things we do to the food in today's world, it's impossible to get everything you need. You know, if you went to ask a nutritionist and say, well, do I need supplementation? They'd say, oh no, as long as you eat right, you don't need supplements, right? I agree, that's true, if you eat right. Okay, here's a plate of food, and on this plate, there's exactly what the nutritionist said. There's some protein, there's some carbs, there's some uh, you know, uh, fiber in there, and there's some, all the stuff they tell you you have to have. Because of the way the food is grown, stored, cooked, and all the things we do to it in today's world, can anyone guarantee that that plate has everything that you need on a daily basis? You need over 90 nutrients a day. Can you guarantee they're there? No. So our nutritional supplements are nothing but an insurance policy. When you take that new meal replacement, what a great product. All you're doing is ensuring that you're getting the nutrients that you need on a daily basis. What if you didn't need them? So what? What if there was only one you needed and you weren't getting? Got the idea? That's why the, the supplement is so important. And we're changing people's lives through the products that we sell. The next thing that we have, and that is our comp plan. The way we compensate people for sharing our products and sharing our business. You have the most unique comp plans in the world. As you know, I've been doing this for 46 years. Some of our Symmetry distributors are here and trying to, by the way, thank you for welcoming them to Singular so well and making them feel so welcome. <laughs> and that was a unique comp plan, but this one with these bonuses, there is nothing like this in the industry, folks. Don't just, look at the, don't just look at the pools as a bonus pool. Look at it as a way that you are sharing in the company's profits. Hello? Mm -hmm. You are, as a distributor, growing in this business, sharing in the company's profits. Those pools come right out of the company's profits. Hello? <laughs> that, make, that makes you an owner of this company. 
So when you go out on a daily basis and you're talking to people and you're sharing this opportunity, you're not sharing it for me, you're not sharing it for the shareholders, you're not sharing it for these, you're sharing it for you. It's your business as well as ours. So I, mean, I love that bonus pool concept. I mean, when it first, when the idea first came to me, someone shared it with me, um, what was it now, eight years ago? Eight years ago. Eight years ago, yeah, shared the idea of this kind of, this comp plan that you guys have. Someone, I, I couldn't believe it, that was a great idea, but we had to test it out and try it. Well, it works. <laughs> got the idea? So you guys are at the right place at the right time. You've got the right company, you've got the right product, you've got the right comp plan. But, let me share this with you. I've been doing this, like I said, 46 years. Do you know what? In these 46 years, I have met people in this business who have made millions of dollars. Do you know that? Yes. You were at Singfest, you met some of them, right? You know them, they're right here. I met some people who made thousands of dollars. And in these 46 years, I have seen people join this business or one of these businesses and make zero. Do you believe me? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, are there people who've joined Singular and made zero? Mm -hmm. Are there people who've joined Singular and made hundreds of thousands? Mm -hmm. Yes, and millions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If some made zero and some made millions, do the people who make the millions, do they have a different company? No. no. Is the product different? No. Is the comp plan different? No. I mean, we don't give Robin a different comp plan, honest. Okay. <laughs> now, she might earn some more bonuses to you because she's higher, but you can get the same bonuses as you grow in a business, right? Mm -hmm. But she's got the exact same comp plan <coughs> and made how much? A million, two? Oh, she's working on three, yeah. On three. Right. Two, two or three more months. Wow. So, uh, how, then what could be the difference? If it's not the comp plan, the company, or the products, it must be another ingredient. And it is. The other ingredient is you. You. These things are only tools that you use for you. And the better you use those tools, the better you learn these tools, the better you do that, the more you'll make. Now you may not want to be Robin. You may have joined Singular because you only want to make an extra 500,000, 2,000, 5,000 a month, and that's okay. That's great. Whatever it is that you want, you can do it, but it's got to be in you. Don't look at how to change the world or the company changing you. So let me give you, if I may, share some ideas of what you can do in this area that'll make your business boom. Number one, it's in your desire. It's never in, can you do this? It's always in, do you want to? And if you want to badly enough, you'll make it. I have seen people in this business, join this business over these years that I've been in. I've seen some people come in and they had every reason to be successful. They had the background, they could speak to people, they were ambitious, they were, uh, I don't know, talkative, they were everything that you say, boy, that guy can make it, and they fail, and they're not around today. And I've seen some people come in this business, and you would say, you know, I don't even know if I wanna recruit that person. I don't know if they'll ever really be able to make it in this thing, because you know, they're shy, and they don't, and they wind up going on to make millions. Why? they wanted to because their desire drove them it's always in your desire it's in your goals okay that's another way to say it right it's in, and, and look this goes back um, in my Bible it says a man without vision will Wow <coughs> think about that a person without vision will perish now that may not mean fall over and die but it's over for them, it's over for their adventurous life, it's over for their better future. Without a vision into the future, right? That's too, it also says, ask and you shall receive. Wow, that's all it says is ask and you shall receive. That's pretty cool, it doesn't say you have to be a certain kind of person, how old or young or male or female, it just says ask and you shall receive. Well I assume it means ask with intelligence. Asking with intelligence is setting goals, your desire, right? Working on those goals, having something set on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis that you are targeting. Now the company has just done a great thing for you. They gave you an immediate goal, didn't they? What's your goal on a weekly basis? 
One. There you go. <laughs> one a week plus one. What is that? It's just a goal. Mm -hmm. Get up in the morning, I gotta go get my one a week plus one. That's a goal. Now you can continue those goals. Start setting your own goals, making sure that it drives you so that you know exactly where you wanna go. Because if you know where you wanna go, your chances of getting there are much better. Here's the secret to success. Dream big dreams. Shoot for the sun. And if you miss, you'll land on the moon. But if you don't have big dreams and you only shoot for the moon and you miss, you fall back to Earth. Got the idea? Dream big dreams. Have that desire. It's in that want to. That makes the difference. Amazing things happen when people have vision. You know, um, how many of you ever heard of um, Leonardo uh, uh, da Vinci? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he uh, painted the Sistine Chapel, right? Uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci had painted, or a sketch with pencil sketches, helicopters. When did he live, Russ? 1400s. Helicopter sketches, and they have them today in museums. Where did that helicopter come from? Now remember, back then they couldn't fly. If somebody would have talked about humans flying, they would have burned them at the stake in the bridge or something, right? <laughs> Wouldn't never believe. Here, this guy's, now he's not drawing airplanes, he's drawing helicopters. Where did that come from? His mind. So whatever the mind of man can believe, it can achieve. So all you gotta do is start getting that desire to go. Here's the second thing it takes for you, and that is your attitude. It's never your aptitude that determines your altitude, it's always your attitude. See, it's never what you, it, it's never what you say, it's how you say it. You know, I get people all the time as I would travel around the world, people say, well, really, you know, I have a hard time getting people to buy, and I have a hard time getting people to join. Could you figure out why that guy would have a hard time getting people to buy and join? He's, and he said, well, would you please teach me? Okay, I'll teach you. Here's what you say. Hi, I'm with a young company. It's called Singular, and it's growing really quickly. Some people make a little money. Some people make a lot of money. Some people are making fortunes. It's a really good company. Would you follow me? <laughs> what would she say? No. no. Did I say anything wrong? No. Think about what I said. I'm with a young company. It's growing really fast. People are making a little money. Some people are making a lot of money. I said everything right, but she isn't going to follow that. You understand? But what if I said, I found it. Holy smokes, dude, John, you gotta come with me, John. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. My enthusiasm will drive the person to believe. Does that make sense? Now, you don't have to be as crazy as I just was, okay? But, but it's in your enthusiasm. It's not the words you say, it's how you feel about what you're doing. See, the old story about set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. It's true. Set yourself on fire with enthusiasm and people will come to watch you burn. The other side of attitude is be careful of what the world tries to stop you from. To maintain a positive attitude, to stay enthusiastic, get away from the negative people. There's all kinds of negative people out there. Have you ever met any of them? Yes, I bet some of them are in your family. <laughs> I bet some of them in your friendship circle, right? Yes, they would go, oh, yeah, when I was starting to do business and things weren't going good, boy, they loved it, right? And, and, and every time, I, when I first got in this business, oh man, every time an article came out about some company or some, hey, did you see this? But if an article came out positive, no way, they didn't show me that, right? Always on the negative side of the coin. You gotta get away from those people who tell you you can't. It won't work. You can't do it. You say, well, Rudy, come on. I, I'm, kind of, I'm a nice person. I don't want to, you know, mm -hmm. it, 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 you're telling me if a friend or relative, someone I care about, comes up to me and starts to tell me something negative, I should just be rude and walk away? No. Run. <laughs> Get in the car. Drive. Get out of their past. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, it's better to be rude than mentally dead, right? Yeah. Don't let anybody pour negativity into this mental factory because everything that goes into this mental factory comes out in the screen of your life. You understand? 
So make sure you protect your attitude, protect, uh, stay positive. And the best way to do that, one of the best, stay involved. Don't miss any of the events. Be on every conference call. Mm -hmm. Be in every meeting. Be at Zingfest. Be at the, what's the next event coming? The leadership conference, right? Be at the leadership conference. Every chance you have to be around positive people, take it. Don't hesitate. Remember that first nine months I told you I didn't do well? One of the reasons I made it was guys, I kept going to those meetings. I kept going to the trainings. Even though I wasn't doing well, I kept going. And they got me lifted. It's in your attitude. Here's the next thing it takes. This is a bad word, four letter word. Work. <laughs> got to be willing to work. You know, a, a, as much as I'll tell you, and I'll stand up here, I could stand up for hours and tell you how great this business is, but I'll also tell you, it ain't easy. It's simple. Now, there's a difference. It's simple. Anybody can do it. I have seen people do it, do this business who had no reason at all, and some who had lots of reason to do it. And, but, so anybody can do it, but it is not easy. You've got to be willing to W-O-R-K. Does that make sense? And the best part of this work, if I may, is in our business, in this business, it's not just hard work, although hard work is great, right? It is consistent work. So when, if you, those of you are taking notes, with this word work, put right in parentheses with it, activity. Activity is as important as the work itself, meaning you've got to be consistently doing something. Right? If I go out, for example, um, let's, say, let's say Barbara here, she talks to 10 people and she gets five people to buy or five people to join. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great, right? Yeah. Um, what if, uh, what's your name? Melissa. What if Melissa goes out and she talks to 10 people, she gets three to join or buy. Is that good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, cool. What if Rudy goes out and I talk to 10 people, I only get one to buy or join. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. You bet. You know why? Because tomorrow, Barbara goes out, talks to 10, she's got five. Melissa goes out to talk to 10, she's got three. Rudy goes out, I talk to 100. I got 10, I win. I win. You understand, you said, well yeah, but Rudy, you had to work harder, so? Doesn't matter. See, I knew my law of averages. My law of averages was only one, that's okay. I can get what I want the moment I know my law of averages. You don't have to hit a home run every time. One of the secrets to success in this business is to learn how to become successful by getting a lot of people to say, no, no, I don't want to join. No, I don't want to buy. No, I don't want to look. No, I don't want anything to do with this. No, no, no. And the more no's you get, the more money you're going to make. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? You said, that's crazy. Hey, how many of you know who Babe Ruth was? Babe Ruth? The home run hitter, uh, king of home runs uh, in his lifetime, right? And, and uh, up until recently was the uh, forever, right? What, did you know that not only was he the home run king, hit more home runs than anyone else, he was also the strikeout king? That happens to be a fact. He struck out more times than anyone else. But it said Babe Ruth would go to the plate, he'd swing, he'd miss, strike one. He'd they'd throw another ball, swing, he'd miss, strike two. Throw another ball, swing, he'd miss, strike three. He'd go back to the bench with a big smile on his face. The other players would say, babe, why are you smiling? You just struck out. He said, yeah, but now I'm that much closer to my next home run. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because he understood the law of averages. It's in the activity. Get busy. Get working every single day. Talk to people. Share the product. Share the opportunity. Look for the no's. And get excited about no's. That's the secret to success. You know that nine, oh, that, you remember that nine months I told you about the first nine months I didn't do well? People often ask me, what turned that around? I can tell you quickly. Here's what turned it around. I had breakfast with a guy named Marty Day. Marty was not my sponsor. He was a successful uh, distributor, doing really well, and I asked him to have breakfast with me. And he said to me, he said, Rudy, why aren't you doing good? And I had all these excuses why I wasn't doing good. He said, if I ask you to do something and promise you it'll change you, it'll make you better, it'll work for you, will you do it? I said, I promise. He took 10 paper clips out of his briefcase. He gave them to me, he said, put them in your pocket. He said, now I want you to go out every day and talk to 10 people. I don't care what you say, you talk to them about the products, about the opportunity, just be excited, talk to 10 people. 
Every time you get to talk, every time you talk to a person, you get to move a paper clip from your left pocket to your right pocket. At the end of every day, you promise me for the next 30 days, you will every day move all 10. I said, I promise. He said, now you can't do nine one day and 10 the next or 11 the next, that doesn't count. 10 every day. I said, I'll do it. So I did, I went out and I started to hide. You wanna make some more money? And I got this great opportunity. Got, no, okay, thanks, hang on. <laughs> okay, hi, you wanna make some more money? I got to, no, thanks, okay, hang on. Okay, by the time I get down here, she's following me. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm asking people if they wanna make some more money. She said, I know, but I said, no. I said, yeah. She said, why are you so excited? I said, because I'm gonna get rich. She said, wait a minute, you go out and talk to people, and they say no, and you're gonna get rich. I said, yep. She said, how? I said, funny, you should ask. Tomorrow night, 7.45. <laughs> 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 okay, now what, I'm trying to make it a little funny for you, but it's a true story, and I stopped using the paper clips because they were in my pocket. When I pulled them out, I used pennies. So every morning I'd leave home, I put 10 pennies in my pocket, and every day I'd move them. And no matter what happened, one night I was coming home from work, it was really late, because I worked in a retail store until 10 at night. I'm going home, I still had a penny left. Oh no. So I pull into a bar, this is a true story. I pull into this bar, right? And this guy sitting at the bar, he's about like this. Like he's, he's barely staying on the stool, right? And so I go up to him and say, hey, you wanna make some more money? He said, oh. I said, thanks, bye. <laughs> well, he didn't, he said anybody. I talked to him, so I got the movie. But you know what happened? See, Marty knew what was wrong with me. I wasn't working. Because before that, I'd go out and I'd talk to one or two or three people, and they'd say no, or they'd laugh at me, and I wouldn't continue. Mm. I'd give up. You understand? What he did was he got me in activity. Next, I got it. Uh, I'm almost on here. Uh, next is believe. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your company. Believe in your products. You've got to believe. And most of all is the first one I mentioned. And that's you. And I make a big deal out of that because I believe that one of the major reasons people do not succeed in this country or anywhere in the world is because they don't believe in themselves. Hello? They may tell you they will, but when that seventh hour comes and they're all alone at night, they don't believe. Fear sets in. Doubt. Worry. Where does that come from? Well, besides the devil. Okay, which I, of course, believe that happens, but from other people. Because all of our lives, we've been told what we can't do. Think about it. When you're a little child and, and, and you do something good, how often do you get recognized? Do something bad, what happens? Woohoo! Right? You get a spanking. Then you grow up and you go to school and have 10 questions and you get eight of them right, two of them wrong. The teacher takes a big red pen and puts eight, uh, eight big check marks, um, pardon me, puts two big check marks and says, look stupid, you got two wrong. Well, they, didn't the teacher put the, X, the check marks on the ones you got wrong? You say, well, Rudy, what's wrong with that? Well, if I was a teacher, I wouldn't do that. I'd take the big red pen and I'd, take the, and I'd put eight check marks and I'd say, look, you're almost perfect. You're just too sure to be imperfect. But that's not life. Life points out what you can't do constantly. And so by the time you get older and then you go to work and the boss, how often does the boss yeah, compliment you, give you a pat on the back, recognize you? No, but do something wrong, what happens? You're out of here. It's the way the world works. I'm not saying it's right or wrong or good. I, it is bad in my opinion, but that's just the way it is. But see, now we've grown up under that and so we don't believe in ourselves. I'm here to tell you, you can do anything you want to do. And the reason I know this so well is because I was in that moment. I had all the excuses. I was a chicken farmer. I didn't, I didn't have a big college education. I didn't have my background. I was, uh, you understand, I had all the excuses in my head. The people had put there for me. But you can do anything you want to do if you just believe in you. So build your belief. Keep working on your belief. And last but not least, and almost any time you hear me speak, you're going to hear this somewhere in the message, because I think this is the one that put me here today, and that is, Persist. Never give up. Never stop trying. Never stop trying. Never give up. Never quit. I, you say, well, Rudy, I did that. I talked to 20 people. Good. Where's number 21? Mm -hmm. Because all you've got to do is keep on keeping on. I don't know why it's this way, but I know this. God has this way of testing us. Whenever we want something and we want it badly, we got to go through some labor. 
We gotta go through some challenges. We gotta go through some discouragement and disappointment. And then, and then, and if we're willing to go through them, then all of a sudden, boom, we get a reward. Now that might might have been in school. Remember when you go in school and you couldn't figure out algebra, right? But you had to do it. They made you keep trying, and finally one day, boom, the light goes on, and you can do it. Isn't that right? Or or or, or think of anything in your life. If it's worthwhile, it takes challenge. It takes struggle. Because that's what makes it worthwhile. So it's in this persistence of keep on keeping on. And remember, I started with this basically today because how did I get here? Not because I was smart. Not because the chicken farm taught me how to be. Well, actually it did. It taught me how to be persistent, right? It was that hard-headedness that I am going to do. That's what will be here. And that's what will put you into your dreams too. Folks, there's never been a better time for you than right now. You've got everything going for you, the company, the comp plan, the products, and you can 